All right, so now we will prove part two of our major theorem. We will prove if Q then P. So we will prove that if there is a way to label the vertices of G so that the resulting adjacency matrix is block diagonal, then G is disconnected. So remember when we're proving if Q then P, we're going to assume Q and show P. So we will assume Q. So we'll start by saying assume vertices have been labeled so that the adjacency matrix A So we'll do that. Okay, so we've assumed that, we're assuming that we can do this. Um, so we'll just assume the vertices have been labeled in this way. So that the adjacency matrix for G is block diagonal. Remember that A1 and A2 are, are um, adjacency matrices in their own right, and that 0, 1, and 0, 2 are matrices consisting of all zeros. So if you think about it, uh, an adjacency matrix defines a graph. So we can define Find subgraphs G1, G2 by A1 and A2. Now G1 and G2 have some amount of vertices, right? So we can say, we can assume that G1 has M vertices and G2 has N vertices. I'm not saying anything about what M and N are, so that's okay. So uh, remember that we can think of the adjacency matrix as like a grid. Um, and because A1 is listed first, um, and uh, G1 was defined by A1 and has M vertices that our adjacency matrix will be like V1 to Vm Vm 
m plus one to v m plus n here v one to v m v m plus one to v m plus n m and n are assumed to be positive integers. All right, now I claim that G1 and G2 are disconnected. I claim that G1 and G2 are disconnected. And I will prove this claim using contradiction. So let's suppose that they're not disconnected. So let's suppose that G1 and G2 are not disconnected. Now for the sake of clarity, I'm gonna draw a little picture. Let's suppose that this is G1 and that this is Oops, G2. And let's say that vertex VI is a vertice of G1 and vertex VJ is a vert vertice of G2. So that, um, and remember, there could be thousands of vertices in G1, thousands of vertices in G2, and all kinds of edges and everything else. I, I'm just, um, and so if they're not, if G1 and G2 are not disconnected, there's got to be an edge between a, vertic a vertice of G1 and a vertice of G2. Now, G1 has vertices 1 to m, and G2 has, ver and G2 has vertices v m plus 1 to v m plus n. So that means that there's got to be, if, if they're not disconnected, that means that there has got to be a 1 somewhere in this upper right block. Well, that means that, so zero one is not all zeros. Well, that's a contradiction, right? That's a contradiction because we get to assume Q. And so we get to assume that A is block diagonal. And so we get to assume that this is how we've defined it to be, that zero one is all zeros. A contradiction. So G1 and G2 are disconnected and that proves the result.